What's your name? My name is Darby Adams. How old are you? I'm 23. What are you doing nowadays? I'm right now a waitress at Texas Roadhouse and I have my own public relations company. How's that going? Right now it's going okay. It's small. Um, I just started, I'll be a year in September. I'm um, taking a year to just do a lot of marketing and branding. So it's exciting. Okay, so this whole concept is talking to a younger or older version of yourself. Um, which one are you gonna talk to? Um, I'm going to elaborate on my younger self and give some hope for the older me, actually. So. Okay, so what are you saying to the younger and older Darby? To the younger and older me, just being reflective on where I'm at now, where I've come, and where I plan to take myself in the future. That's um, very exciting because the younger me came up from a lot of circumstances. I'm an only child and it is okay to be an only child and be understanding of things that have gone on around you. You are not your circumstances. Being that I lost my mom early at 12, it was very hard. Um, it was something that I had to adjust to. And I just wanna know that you can make it through that situation. There is nothing that can overpower you or beat you down. Um, younger me, you were hard headed. <laughs> you were so hard headed, but you had so much love and your mother loves you. You're blessed to have had a father to love you and provide. And you have to take those and strive, give hope for somebody else and just know that there's a reason for everything. That is your biggest downfall. That is your biggest upbringing to just know that you are not the same of who you were when you were a child. Younger you, you have so much instilled in you. You were brought up in a loving family, a big family. You were blessed to be spoiled as well as taught the right from wrong. Definitely coming up as a girl from Durham, you know, there was a lot of things that people looked at you differently about being where you're from and how you present yourself. So going through life, just having the name of Durham on your back was hard. Then going through life without a mom, um, an older father, hint 80, um, that was something you just had to adapt to, just feeling alone in the world. And now growing up to be an aspiring entrepreneur and encouraging children in your hometown who don't have the skating rinks that you had to go to or the parks to be safe in. This is where you begin. This is where you start that platform. This is where you start that journey for someone to follow behind you and look up to you. Outside of the entertainment world, outside of reality TV. So just being able to take those circumstances and those trials and tribulations and carry into being the adult, growing into a loving mother, growing into a loving wife, having a business relationship as well as with your family and the people around you, being able to provide for my family the way my father has provided for me over the years until being an adult. I just want to be able to give back to those kids who didn't have anything um, to say that was positive for them in their life as I had for myself. Being able to say I traveled, being able to say I was able to come out of a cycle that was so deteriorating, 
to the culture that I am, to the um, morals that I have. It has just been a roller coaster to be able to find someone who, you know, appreciates you, accepts you, um, lifts you is something that has taken a lot of spiritual um, finding, a lot of prayer. It's taken so many tears and lonely nights and you have overcome that. Like you have so much to smile for. You have so much to be proud of. The day you go to work, someone's telling you how beautiful and happy and glowing you are. The come home with money in your pocket and all bills are paid and that your family is okay. To have a home to say is yours and a business to say is yours is just the dream, living the dream. It's any, everything I've wanted since a child, writing colleges on notebook paper time after time again and actually being able to see where I've come and where I'm going is just the biggest feeling from being a child, even into my adult years, to be able to say that I did it. I was able to make something of myself that no one thought I would make of myself. It's just a feeling that you can't take from you and no one else can ever take from you. It, it is amazing. My family is my life. My family is everything to me after losing my mom. My family definitely broke apart, um, and it was just a big change to go from having everyone together to having to piece together a family that you would never expect to not be there when you needed them. And for, to, for your family to do so much um, that you wouldn't expect family to do. Uh, at the end of the day, I definitely live for my youngest niece and my nephew who was killed. Um, his killing definitely brought me closer to home as far as what home needs and what home means. And that pushed me to start my business. They were the factor to starting my public relations because the image of someone from Durham or just being black now is becoming so difficult to live in and just accept that you want to change who you are. And just knowing that you can be who you are and be great at who you are is just something I want to take and carry. Losing my nephew was on the twenty on my 23rd birthday. Mm -hmm. And that was a life changer for me. Um, I don't play basketball, but I know the number 23 is pretty important. So it was just a lot of emotions that took over. And I realized something needed to be done because it's become a norm for us to lose children. Their parents, they took me in when my mom passed away. So they're very important to me. And just for any parent who ever has lost their child because my biological father has as well. I don't know that pain because I don't have kids, but I know the pain because they were like my kids. And I just fight for them. I have nothing to fight for for myself because I've taken everything as a reason that God has put me in a position to handle it. And I put it into the fight for others, for others who don't want to speak up you know, for others who don't think they can come out of living where they are or the circumstances, the job they might have. It is definitely family that drove me to branch out. Um, it was the community that drove me to go to Campbell University to get my first start and look into what life is outside of a county and a city. <laughs> um, I got to travel. I got to meet great people who have supported me outside of um, attending the university. And I just only encourage people to step out of their bubble because when I was in school, everyone told me to not go to Campbell. And I'm glad I did. I'm glad I looked away from social norms. And I'm blessed that I did because I'm now in a place where I call my own home. 
Um, I have my own career. I have a thriving family unit, um, both person in a media and outside of like in a personal family. So I have really just been able to say, you know, my circumstances have really shown me what, you know, perseverance and hustle can do. <laughs>